Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. So, we are in the middle of grading our backyard area here to seed it and just have a nice area for the dogs to play. So we don't always want them having full range of the backyard because Coda never likes to come in and I'm getting kind of tired of chasing them. So, that's what this will be, just a smaller fenced in area. Um, but yeah, let me show you what all I've been up to since the last time uh, we were recording. All right, so still got some grading to do, but the hillside is looking much better. Much more gradual of slopes here. Kind of coming around the corner and then down the side. come up here and it is all flat and cleared out so got smarty moved we got the bush moved they're both down there so now it's all cleaned up I also got this area dug up here for some gravel to go in because you all know how much we like gravel so it'll just be a little outside sitting area um, reason we don't want to put anything more permanent in here is because the structure on the screen porch does not exist and it needs to be redone and we don't want to do that right now so this is all probably going to get dug up again so we don't want to do something really expensive so right now what I want to do though the pipe here I want it to go way back there so, got a new tool, sorry Lauren, and uh, we'll see if we can make this a little bit easier for me and trench with that. So, let me go grab it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is what we got, a little subsoiler. Um, we're gonna try and basically just use this to dig a little trench for the pipe. Probably do a little uh, digging afterwards, but We'll see how it works. So first things first is we're gonna find the other end of the solid pipe that I buried. Get this disconnected and then trench from there, down that way and just beyond basic where, basically where I'm trying to plant right now. There it is, I'm gonna back up, drive forward, see how it goes. So I'm really annoyed right now. Um, I didn't catch any of this work going on here or anything, period. So let's rewind a little bit here and let me show you what we're doing. So, I trenched this, and I know what you're thinking, why aren't you done with trenching? But, we use this guy. So we use the subsoiler here from Tractor Supply. Um, basically it ripped down 20 inches or so, um, loosened up all of the dirt nice and good, Got rid of some rocks, got rid of some roots uh, to make my trench here. And if you can see up here at the top, the uh, solid pipe is a little close to the surface, so I kind of wanted to dig that down a little bit. So I'm going to try and very carefully run the subsoiler next to it. So we'll see what happens.
also got a coupler here. Um, we're gonna take this on. I got a hundred foot pipe that I'm gonna tack on now to do this trench so I can extend even farther when I want to. So I'm gonna cut off my temporary thing here. Dandy duct tape. Solve every problem. thinking this is overkill but I don't want this pipe leaking and eroding my whole hillside.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for the day. Um, got that, got the pipe dug in. So much easier than the last time. Um, I'd much rather have the backhoe, obviously. So we're going to leave this for a few days. We're supposed to get uh, rain this coming week. I think two or three days worth of it. So I want to see how this area drains before I seed it and do all that. I also want to get some gravel up to the top there. Um, and I don't want to track over what I just seeded. So we're going to wait for that. Hopefully we get that in Monday or Tuesday. And then next weekend, maybe, we'll start seeding. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Catch more updates on this. More tractor fun, more farm fun. You know, you name it, we're up for whatever. So we'll catch you on the farm next time.